This is the 2020 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross Limited Edition, and here's what you need to know. Like all of its competitors, Eclipse Cross will seat five, offers four-wheel drive, a flexible interior that's easily adapted to just about any task, and aims to deliver the crossover SUV driving experience that many shoppers these days like. Specifically, that's car-like handling and maneuverability and fuel efficiency, and a car-like drive in a vehicle with added traction, ground clearance, and an elevated seating position, and more room. Blending the attributes of a car and an SUV are what crossovers are all about. So if you're shopping in this segment, Eclipse Cross is one of many choices you have to consider. It takes a place between the smaller RVR and the bigger Outlander in Mitsubishi's product lineup, and by filling the middle ground position between small crossovers and larger ones, Eclipse Cross occupies an interesting spot in the marketplace as a whole. Its price and sizing make it a bit hard to place, and ultimately, it intends to bridge a size and pricing gap between segments, which you can bet is on purpose. Or to put that another way, if you figure you're after something just a little bigger than say a Hyundai Kona, Honda HRV, or Mitsubishi RVR, the Eclipse Cross might just be the ticket. With plenty of featured content for the money, the best powertrain warranty in the business, standard all-wheel drive on all trim grades, and a unique blend of styling elements and featured touches, here's a crossover that's batting its eyelashes at the value-minded shopper. And repeat Mitsubishi owners, perhaps upsizing from a Lancer or RVR, will find it a pretty seamless transition. Many of the controls and interfaces will be highly familiar, same with the well-sorted drive. On one hand, that means the interior is not the fanciest or most modern you'll find in a modern crossover vehicle, and some of the controls, interfaces, and screens in here are looking pretty old school these days. We can see that plenty of the interior styling in here dates back to Mitsubishi models from years gone by, so it's not the freshest or most high-tech looking cabin you'll find in the game today, but everything works just fine, is highly proven, and should see repeat Mitsubishi drivers as well as new ones feeling at home and comfortable pretty quickly. And here's a bit more detail on that. So climate control, fairly simple, fairly easy to read, again not the fanciest you're going to find uh, for the money today. The seat heaters are super old school. So these are the factory infotainment system graphics. And if you're not plugging in your compatible smartphone, uh, this is what the interface is going to look like. It's fairly easy to navigate, it's logical, nothing too complicated, but it is not the fanciest looking. However, if we plug in Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, and it's gonna be Android Auto in my case. Now with that connected, we just click there and I've got full smartphone functionality scaled up to this central screen. I can also use this trackpad down here to manipulate my way around the screen above if I want. Look elsewhere and you've got nice looking seats. There's a good use of materials and accenting and I love this sporty looking instrument cluster. It's a bit old school, but it looks good and it's highly informative and easy to read. So it's all a matter of taste, but I think as a package, it manages to be approachable, easy to use, and even a little upscale. Stitching in carbon fiber patterned trim and glossy accents help dress the cabin up, and it's full of handy and functional touches you'll come to appreciate. Proper cup holder with the little grippies here and some extra storage this big center console bin that's got the sliding drawer and room for some other items down here. Outside, the looks give the Eclipse Cross a distinctive appearance. That split rear window being the key visual element from the rear and from the driver's seat, it opens up even more rearward visibility to help add confidence as you maneuver in tight quarters. The backup camera works to the same effect, with rear cross-traffic alert warning you of incoming vehicles as you back into a laneway. Up front, Eclipse Cross proudly flaunts its unique version of the signature Mitsubishi face, chiseled and proud, and you know this is a Mitsubishi from a mere glance. On your screen, it's the 2020 Eclipse Cross Limited Edition, priced at about 31,003 Canadian, with all-wheel drive, 18-inch wheels, blind spot monitoring, automatic lights and climate control, and a strong safety story with strong marks from industry authorities. If you don't want to spend fully loaded money, this limited edition helps your dollar go towards plenty of the latest and greatest features you'll find in the segment. 
heated seats, heated steering wheel, heated rear seats, automatic wipers, check, check, and check. I noted no issues with entry or exit, and front and rear seats are both boarded with a simple lateral butt slide and plop down if you're of about average proportions like me. Decent rear seat head and legroom for anyone in back, no problem for me to sit behind myself. And like most of its competition, Eclipse Cross's size and shape and proportions and onboard flexibility mean that you're well set up for a day of errands, getting in and out of the vehicle multiple times, or setting it up for the task at hand should cause you no stress. In back, the cargo hold is relatively generous, rear seats fold down with no frustration, and I appreciated these small bins in the corners of the cargo area to help secure smaller items in place. The cargo load floor sits a little on the high side, no issue for adults, but this might make things a bit tricky for your smallest grocery helpers or smaller family canines jumping in and out. Push button start brings the sporty instrument cluster to life, complete with a reconfigurable driver computer and easy reading gauges. Behind that instrument cluster is a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder with 152 horsepower and 184 pounds of torque. That torque is the important figure here. It gives the Eclipse Cross superior throttle response in many situations to its mostly non-turbocharged competition, meaning the driver gets more eager acceleration than the numbers lead on. Despite the small engine and modest horsepower output, that turbocharged torque means that Eclipse Cross feels zippy in city traffic and confident when passing and merging on the highway. The continuously variable transmission, or CVT, helps the engine run smooth and quiet, keeps the driveline nice and refined, and works nicely with the engine in most situations. With no gears to shift, it's smoother than a normal automatic, and it helps save fuel and add responsiveness too. So I put the camera here to show you what you can expect from the CVT transmission in terms of how it works and how it responds from the driver's seat. And so we'll just see what it does in a couple of different situations. So I'm just gonna accelerate gently from 70 kilometers an hour up to highway speed. What you'll see here is that the engine revs are staying basically the same. If you watch the speedometer and the tachometer, the engine's revs are staying low and steady, basically not moving very much at all, and that helps the engine stay more fuel efficient and smoother. And now I'm going to accelerate up to highway speed again using a little bit more throttle and watch the result. About halfway on the accelerator here. So what you saw there was the transmission simulating the upshift that you might be familiar with from a conventional automatic transmission. So at light throttle, it runs smooth and steady, and at heavier throttle, it simulates that type of gear shift so that you feel the sensation of a regular automatic that you might be more used to. Engines are more fuel efficient when they're run at a continual speed rather than revving up and down as you shift through the gears. And with a CVT transmission like this, helping the engine spend more time at lower and steadier revs, you save fuel too. So compared to the average affordable crossover powertrain, I find this one is smoother, it's quieter, and it's more refined than you think. It's also punchier than you think too. This is the second time I've driven an Eclipse Cross, and the second time I'll tell you, use the cruise control because with that turbocharger and all that low end power and how smooth it is, this is one of those vehicles that can really easily sneak up past the speed limit on the sly if you're not being careful. Actually, the smoothness and quietness and overall refinement from this powertrain team, even when you're working it hard, is one of the Eclipse Cross's standout attributes, which I think helps set it apart from the competition. It's quiet and unintrusive, even in situations where I expect a lot more noise and vibration from an affordable crossover's engine. Even at full throttle, this little 1.5 turbo never sounds like it's straining or being overworked, and it's a fair bit quieter than I was expecting to. By my estimation, there are two other attributes that help set the Eclipse Cross apart as well. First, the all-wheel drive system. Most crossovers give the driver no control over that system. They're fully automatic, and they're excellent at doing what they need to do without any of your input, and that's what most shoppers want. 
but you can do better if you're able to, say, tap a button to control various four-wheel drive settings. Super all-wheel control, and that's Mitsubishi's all-wheel drive system, and it networks the all-wheel drive and some other vehicle functions to let you fine-tune things to the sort of driving you want to do. So by just pressing the button, I can select between auto, snow, and gravel modes, and each of these modes triggers some changes to the all-wheel drive system torque split and the way the stability control system responds to give you a higher degree of control and fine-tune the operation of the system for the specific type of driving you want to do. And second, the ride in most situations. If you're test driving various competitors, you might be finding some ride too far over onto the stiff and sporty side of the spectrum. That's better for sportiness and handling, but not as good for comfort. The Eclipse Cross suspension system is set more on the softer side, and that's better for comfort, and it's most apparent on the highway where the ride is very easy going and soft on its feet. You've got better options if sporty handling is your thing, but Eclipse Cross nicely uses its refined driveline and its comfortable highway ride and relative roominess to help turn in peaceful travels. So for a refined powertrain, a comfy highway drive, and a nice collection of the latest gadgets for the money, Eclipse Cross largely has shoppers covered. It's a pretty compelling package overall. There are some gripes though, if you're not using Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, the factory touchscreen graphics are far from the best you'll find for the money, and annoyingly there's no volume knob for the stereo, so you'll probably be reaching all the way over here until you learn to use the steering wheel controls instead. And finally, the shape of the tailgate leads to a strange action to the hinge, meaning you'll need a pretty good tug to pull it shut confidently. So in summary, you've got better choices if you're after the most modern looking interior for your dollar and a really smooth ride on really rough roads. But ultimately, Eclipse Cross is hard to beat on ride comfort in most settings, powertrain refinement, and it has an all-wheel drive system that provides an added degree of driver control. It's a flexible and easy-going machine that's highly approachable and easy to live with. Well, thank you for watching. My name is Justin Pritchard. Until next time, take care and drive safe, and we'll see you in the next video.